Hey guys, my name is Dr. Adam Nally. I'm a board certified family physician and a uh, board certified obesity medicine specialist and I'm coming to you live from Surprise, Arizona. Um, my website is docmuscles.com. You can find me there and you can hopefully find this video there. You may be watching this there. Um, <clears throat> it's Friday afternoon and I'm in my office and I thought I would talk to you about part number nine in YB and ketosis and I'm, I'm dual broadcasting again. I'm on Facebook Live here and I'm on Periscope right there. So how are you guys doing? Um, I'm gonna try to catch questions if I can. Uh, it's Friday, so I'm gonna slow down just a little bit. I need to go a little longer than the four or five minutes, um, but I wanted to talk about something very important that you and I may see um, very commonly, or well, I see very commonly, is that uh, ketosis actually dramatically improves memory. Um, there was a study in 2012 in the uh, Neurobiology of Aging uh, uh, journal that showed that uh, even short-term ketosis, going into a ketosis uh, or lo a low-carbohydrate diet that generated the body using ketones as the primary fuel instead of glucose as the primary fuel, had dramatic effect on memory and improvement in people who had mild cognitive impairment. Now, mild cognitive impairment, or MCI as we call it, is, um, is a precursor state and a, a risk factor for Alzheimer's type dementia. And we know that uh, in this particular study, uh, looking at humans, that as a person, even in the short term, lowered the starch intake they took in their carbohydrates, their simple sugars as well, and that includes your oatmeal and your cereal. Um, as, the, as you lower that, we found that their, their memory actually got better uh, because their body was using ketones as a fuel and not necessarily that the glucose improved, but that, but that the insulin levels dropped. Uh, we know that with, uh, in the presence of high insulin, uh, there's, an in, there's an, a, a worsening of overall uh, a, a cognition and so the ability, the ability to uh, test or to um, perform with memory actually worsened as the insulin levels go up. And, uh, and as they stay up higher. Uh, we know that, uh, we, we, at least we think that uh, Alzheimer's disease is a type three uh, diabetes essentially. And so as you shift from using glucose and sugar as your primary fuel, and remember that the st standard American diet, about 85% of what's on your plate is a form of a sugar, uh, a form of a carbohydrate. As you lower that and you actually increase the use of fat as your primary fuel, uh, and when you're not using glucose or sh you're, you're lowering the insulin, when your insulin's lower, you're not gonna gain weight because your body will use the fat at once and throw out the rest. So as we shift to a low carbohydrate ketogenic based diet, we see a dramatic improvement in memory. You can find that in the February 2012 uh, Neurobiology of Aging study, and one of many. Um, I, do, I, I personally have been doing a ketogenic diet for the last 10 years, 24-7. Uh, uh, occasionally, yes, I do cheat on the holidays once in a while, but the challenge is when you cheat, you, you get tremendous cravings, and at least I do for up to 72 hours. Um, well, Glenn, I'm glad I'm changing your life. Uh, Glenn says that, uh, <clears throat> that we've, we've been changing his life with a ketogenic diet. So short, short, short little benefit, but tremendous in part nine is that as you lower your carbs and you increase your ketones, you see dramatic improvement in your memory. Do diabetes pills increase basal insulin or insulin response? It depends on the pill. There are, there are at least five different classes of medicines. Um, the metformins and the DPP-4s, they don't necessarily increase the overall insulin. They increase your, ability to, uh, your body's ability to use the insulin, and that actually augments your ability to handle that insulin, where um, amaryl and um, uh, your sulfonylureas, they actually kind of squeeze the pancreas and kick out more insulin. So if you can actually change your diet, or at least many of my patients who can change their diet can actually lower the use of, of the sulfonylureas or those medicines so they're not having to use as much insulin and their memory actually gets better. So hopefully pr pretty profound effect, uh, pretty significant uh, in that regard. Great questions. I know it's a Friday night and there's probably very few out there who want to hear about Dr. Nelly uh, talking about sugar. Many of you are probably eating popcorn um, watching um, the new Star Wars movie. I haven't had a chance to see it yet. Hopefully it's good. Um, Pre-keto had good recall, but now I amaze myself at how much I can recall and remember. I do too. Uh, great, great, great comment. Um, so that is the, uh, the, the uh, short end of the stick, or at least the uh, YBN ketosis part number nine. You can find me at docmuscles.com. That's docmuscles.com. That's my website. Um, you can find exogenous ketones, which I, I do gain some profit on, but I use them myself every day. Uh, those, these are drinkable ketones that shift you into ketosis pretty, pretty dramatically. Uh, and then you can find those at uh, dynamicketones.com. Uh, so check those out there. Uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend, a great Friday. Uh, go see Star Wars, but uh, eat your, eat your um, pork rinds and your beef jerky instead of the popcorn. And hopefully you'll remember the movie a whole lot better. Signing off, again, docmuscles.com. This is Dr. Adam Nally. I'm a board-certified family physician and a board-certified um, medical bariatrician or an obesity doc or a fat doctor. Have a great evening. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.